Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel that is Delph Chanel Sport Aids World and I am none other than who who you know as Delph Chanel okay I'm kind of trying to get my editing here don't know why it is acting up but I guess I didn't set it for when I started my video okay but again my name is Deb Chanel and I am the owner the content creator of Deb Chanel Sports World nice to meet you okay for all the ones that have known me in the past have subscribed to my channel thank you thank you thank you mwah, 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 mwah. love you all thank you for the ones that are thinking about coming over to my channel I don't know what you're thinking about just come on and roll honey subscribe 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 like and share my videos okay but we're going to get into a story that had definitely come across my media feed. I'm sure it's been across a lot of people's media feeds if they get into um, entertainment news when it's regarding celebrities, whether they're true celebrities, meaning music artists out there. Uh, solidified it within the music industry as well as entertainers in the acting world that have definitely went to school uh, horned and tuned in their craft and, and made it incredible for everybody to take a part of uh, the true actors and actresses out there and then you have your reality stars okay who try to call themselves or look at themselves as, as actors or whatnot but we know they just pretty much faking the phone reading from scripted lines and then they get to embellish a little bit on their own okay but having really went to school to uh definitely be able to make you cry make you laugh make you well they do make us laugh here and there but it'd be because of foolishness we can go out there and act a fool in the streets too and people laugh at us but i'm just talking about the real actor and actresses that have went to school have paid people to show them how to act have definitely been in different parts of the theater or the theatrical world of entertaining and you know just getting uh credits and, and accolades for their craft that they got into a long time ago okay unless they were just born actor actors actresses okay but we're going to be going in talking about something that was on celebrity insider um some commentary that they broke out today i think it was today no it was the fourth which was yesterday saturday but it was on nene leaks's son uh her eldest son bryson i think his last name is richard but i'm not really sure don't quote me on it okay but uh ricky mathers uh or mathers over there at celebrity insider a journalist a correspondent uh um person that writes up different uh scandalous type of head banging newsworthy articles she's a, a correspondent or a journalist over there with that camp and breaking out stories for them for us to partake of okay now she titled her article nene leak's son bryson bryant okay bryson bryant uh may not be the father of his strange child baby mama allegedly uh, or alleges after Nini's money, or they pretty much saying she's after Nini's money. Okay, we're going to get into the article. It says Simone Davis have been very vocal about uh, both Bryson Bryant and Nini Leakes's absence from his alleged son's life. A friend of the interior designer recently uh, completed an interview that exposed Simone as a liar. Okay. A friend of the interior designer. Now, who is the interior designer? Is it supposed to be the Simone Davis that claims uh, her son Blaze is Bryant or uh, Bryson's uh, son? Is that what we're talking about? But let us continue to read. Maybe we'll find out. According to the friend, Simone is lying about the paternity of her son. She spoke to all about the tea exclusively to reveal who the toddler's real father is and why Bryson goes along with it. Okay, so it's more mostly allegedly Simone Davis's friend is clocking her tea um, maybe it's something she truly knows for a fact because uh, Simone may have told her or maybe she's just selling a story that happens to be fictitious and I don't know if bloggers really pay uh, for to their resources of content or uh, information they can use to uh, put out there in the um, 
social media realm to get hits and 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 stuff of that nature i'm not really sure i think tmz pay people don't quote me on it but um some uh bloggers and some um news reporting people or that belong to magazine companies and stuff they i think they do pay you for your news uh if they can definitely check out the source to make sure it's reputable i think you can get paid but i don't know if simone davis is running around here um uh you call it soliciting uh different vloggers or bloggers to interview her so you know she can make more splashes out there of entertainment news that uh some of us can use some of us just look at it and scoff at it or whatnot because they don't just want to believe it so we don't really know if um bryson nini's son uh is actually the son or father of this woman allegedly named simone davis okay now we do know simone davis uh knows nini leak i won't say very well but she does know of her as well as being around her because nini has taken pictures with her and has been the pictures have been photographed inside of nini's home so i we don't doubt that she has met her of few times or several times to be able to give us some stories but of course nini why you didn't uh do one of them pda pdas or what do you call it personal disclosure applications on people that are close to the family so they can't be exposing your truth or not but i, I don't know why you didn't do it but maybe you didn't really think that uh bryson's girlfriends or girlfriend would actually do you this way okay I think I've got non disclosure agreements, NDAs, I think, not PDAs, but anyway, this is what it is. Very similar, somewhat the same. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, um, that's not Bryson's baby. She was effing Bryson and three other men when she got pregnant with Blaze. She told me that Bryson is not Blaze's daddy. She said his real father is in jail. This is why she, meaning Simone Davis, has yet to get a DNA test or take Bryson to court for child support. She knows he's not the father and wants to keep the charade going. Bryson doesn't believe Blaze is his child, but when he's not high, he treats the boy like a son and gives her, Simone Davis, a little pocket change for his care. Okay, now, um, hmm, that was put on blast by uh, Bryson's, Bryant's alleged baby mama, Simone Davis, lied about paternity of their son. That's not Bryson's baby exclusively, and that comes from all about the tea from what they're trying to spit out. Um, really can't say if it's here nor there. Really can't say if it's true. Don't know, allegedly. Um, but she's just spilling all this tea out. And I'm like, well, everything can be solved and brought to fruition if one of the two people or two parties have clear heads and let uh, organically the um, finding of whether the baby is Bryson or not. It's just go and take a paternity test. I mean, you have the store brand, you have the doctor's brand, and you have different specialists out there that can do this and find out whether or not Bryson is the father of Simone's uh, baby boy, Blaze. Okay? I don't understand why cooler heads just won't prevail and go on and have the doggone test. And if, in fact, Bryson is uh, the father of that child, then go on and uh, pay child support and be done with it i mean why drag nini name uh through the mud i mean just because she is a celebrity and she happens to make a hell of a lot of money and be in social media and have all these things uh or resources she can uh definitely uh splurge on her grandchildren but uh is it really nini's place to do all of this isn't it her son's place to find out of these five kids allegedly he's supposed to have out there in the world should he just not go go take them all down the line and distinguish which ones are his if not all and they come up with some kind of plan to get these women some money i mean not necessarily the women but the children if they have to build like a little state fund for them that they get every month 
just like an EBT card or a debit card or whatnot, you can use it. The funds will be on there. And then Bryce has to decide, or Bryson has to decide whether he wants to actually be in the children's lives. If, in fact, all five are his, okay? Ain't no sense of having a deadbeat dad out there. But it, it does take its toll on the grandparents uh, when you trying to do right by your own children. And then they go out here and don't do right uh, in public. You know what I'm saying? It does put a little stain on the parents. Like, you know, we didn't raise you to be this way. We didn't raise you to be trifling. We didn't raise you to not cover it up. You know what I'm saying? Wrap it up, son. Then you won't have all these women come complaining to you about all these children they done had. And then you sitting up there looking like a dummy. Then you looking at me like a dummy. And I'm just going to look back at you like a dummy. But as we, as parents, we love our children. We want to protect our children. We want to provide for our children. But sometimes, some parents just don't know how to cut the cord. Now, I do, in fact agree wholeheartedly with what Nene did, which was providing a space, a place um, that her son could lay his head on. Now, me personally, I, I'm not no way in the world I would have bought him that kind of house. Okay, we would have had like an uh, old house that we renovated over. Didn't cost me too much money. It would have been sitting, you know, on some land, not maybe maybe an acre or so, maybe just an acre for his behind. But it would have been something that we would have remodeled, made it more modernized. But I wouldn't have been, it, it sure wouldn't have been over no hundred grand. And then that would be something he can add on or he can sell it once I felt that he was relinquished from all of his debts or release relinquished yeah from all his debt that people have put him in or he had put itself in and they couldn't come take it from him because the last thing you want to see is your child begging uh for food or homeless out there especially when you have the means now i understand about not having your child on your premises because you don't know what they're doing and you don't want to have responsibility for them when you can't see them on a daily basis so I understand by Nene not wanting her children, her grown children, to be still at home. They should be fending for themselves, conquering the world. And when the world, do, you know, doing bad or, or, or shut doors, they can always, you know, come home to the parents to get some advice on what to do. Preferably, we as parents like to know before you go out there and do anything so we can tell you, nope, don't do it. Nope, step away. Nope. Get up from the table. Don't sign nothing. But you know, as children, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. And then they look at us in hindsight and want to come and, and bend our ear on what we thought uh, to something that they can't get out of. They're just looking at paying money and they want us to pull them out. And half the time, we as parents will do it. And we will be saying, this is the last time. Don't let this happen again. But we know we will go on and do whatever we can for our children. Because that's just the love we have for our children. And the same love they should have for their parents when they get older. And can't do for themselves anymore. But um, I can see both sides very clearly. But this Simone and any other women of Bryson's. Uh, that try to come after her or defame her name or uh, not necessarily defame her name but kind of make her look bad uh, in the public eye by saying she don't want to see her grandchildren or she's been calling her grandchildren that she don't know all these names and nine times since she's not really uh, uh, I would hope to say she's not really um, saying all these foul things to the grandchildren she more so saying it to the women that are out here trying to take advantage because you know like the old thing says or the old saying goes why would you lay down with a dog and you know you're gonna come up with fleas why even put yourself through that travesty if you knew bryson from out down them streets he got a reputation of loving them and leaving them or loving them and not taking care of his responsibility why would you lay down with him unprotected see that's my deal on the whole scenario but then you do have these certain women that you know love the the penis and they're gonna do whatever they want to do and then you have the women that know they can smell the come up and they hope nene is just as wonderful as she taking care of her allegedly no good son uh not having a job out there taking illicit drugs allegedly and just not doing anything for himself kind of being like a little pauper running around now uh 
you know, why would you even fool with a, a, a man like that? Tell us about the character of that person. But they know that character that's kind of foul living and not doing right is connected to some money or some money resources that they may be looking at trying to get. So I could see Nene's side, uh, 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 her point of reference of, you know, why her son are winning did this thing of fooling with all these women and especially this woman who doesn't uh have any uh what do you call it respect of just keeping it out the press you know i think nini would probably do better if you came to her behind the scenes and even if she didn't come to you just let it go because you can't make a man do something he ain't gonna do you know it because if push comes to shove nini will say okay well let him go to jail you know what i'm saying allegedly at least we'll know where he at he ain't making no more babies out there and it just is what it is but you know the kids should be taken care of financially if in fact they are his children if he laid down and got them that gun he need to lay up and uh or get up and take care of them though that burden should be put on nini but you know we as parents we have to kind of bear the brunt of some of that discomfort because that is our grandchildren out there and you never know what that child may become in life they may be become someone who can help you out when you get old and gray and can't do for yourself and not in your good mind of thinking so it's always that thought in our heads as well but getting back to the commentary it says that's not all the source said they went on to claim that davis is looking for a fat check now of course you know she said on several interviews out there i only caught, caught a few uh because she was mentioning nini's name uh, and that you know she's saying she don't want nini this is simone davis right there she doesn't want nini's money she don't want her time and effort she just wants her to know her grandchild and her grandchild to know her that is her claim to fame but yet she's still out there still making all this uh, uh roaring a noise in the streets hoping it does get back to nini and you know some people have been saying she's been trying to get on the show of the real housewives of atlanta i don't know if that's neither here nor there it may be allegedly but you know why would you go on a show that you know you're going to be arguing back to back or talking with nini's co-stars about her and then they're going to be looking at you sideways as well of not even really able to trust you because if you do this to your not even mother-in-law but allegedly your your um son's grandmother what would you do to them so it's just like a cause and effect and right now you're being very extremely negative nasty and matter of factly for the negative on nini so again why would she reach out to you when you may have a quarter of a conversation that you may want to sell to the blogs one day now this is my sidebar but going back um into the article it says simone is after nini's money and wants on that show really bad that's all she talks about being famous and rich this definitely makes bryson's statement to radar online more relevant after simone went public slamming a 30 year old he spoke up to say that she she told him the baby wasn't his simone is on something weird right now and i don't know what her deal is look when she was pregnant she told me the baby wasn't mine i was like okay cool and that was that now all of a sudden she says it's mine to add gas to the fire Recent reports claim that Simone wants to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta to expose the mother and son. Now, again, we don't know if this is all. I'm going to tell you, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm just pouring it up. We sitting down. We having a conversation over here at the Family Affair, honey. Yes, we are like Kendra Spirits. We're family. We agree to disagree. You may not see my point of view, but you're going to respect me anyway. I may not see your point of view, but I'm going to respect you anyway. And we're going to disagree to agree. Okay? But, um, y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about this mess. I mean, what if this, the shoe was on the other foot and your child was going out here laying it low and spreading it wide with all these different women, or just say two or three women, but he got babies from them, you know what I'm saying? Not wrapping it up, not worried about diseases or anything of that nature, but you 
uh, procreating and, and you don't know if these children are yours or not. And then you got the grandparents such as Nene and Greg. It really ain't reflecting Greg because Greg is a mild mannered man. And he'd be like, man, go check and see if them are your kids. And if them are your kids, then you need to get a job and take care of them. Damn. You know, he probably thinking in that tone. And I'm, a, I'm right there with Greg while he smoke his cigar or drink his wine or whatever he doing. I'm just sitting on the along with him. Yes, yes, you said the right thing. And yes, he should be doing doing it but you know nini had this fighting spirit and she knows how certain women get down and she sees me and simone davis and nini's eyes sees that she is what she calls herself a rich edge and she wants some of that or she definitely wants to have that come up and someone put her on the show i think she would fit nicely in love and hip-hop atlanta but you know because that seems to be her age genre and maybe she can Reflect on dating someone who's in a celebrity type family um, environment and she can speak on some things. I don't know. I don't know the claim to fame. I don't know how you get on any of these reality shows or really why would you want to unless you there you love that entertainment you love that fame you love the fortune you love everything that goes along with it but also know you're going to be in a fish bowl you're going to be in an aquarium bowl or a tank where people are going to be viewing you uh 99.9% .9 of the time okay and if you can live with that then yeah the entertainment world is yours okay it is your oyster go for it be great go forth and do whatever okay but um uh, yeah y'all get on in them comments and let me know is Nene wrong is uh Simone Davis wrong or is her son Bryson wrong you know call a spade a spade let me know what you thought those are my thoughts already within this video of how I feel about each and every one of them. But um, it's nice to communicate with you all, interact, and see what your feelings are on subject matter. Okay, but that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, why don't you do so today, you know, so you can be in tune with all the entertainment news you can use from Dale Chanel Sport Aids World. Okay, but... Um, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you all another time. Be breezy. Bye-bye.